Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we are going to be working on my daily driver. I use this 530i Touring E39 as a daily driver. Last week on my way home from work it developed a misfire on cylinder 1. The fault code is P1343 and it says it is cutting the fuel to cylinder 1 due to the misfire. So we're gonna look at some of the basics first and hopefully this is gonna be a simple fix. Now I'm hoping that this is not compression related, that there's no internal wear on the engine. I'm hoping it is just a case of a coil or a plug or maybe some oil inside the ports for the spark plugs. So we're gonna take the engine cover off and see what's happening there. So let's get started. Right, so I've brought the car in the garage because it's getting quite late. And I'm gonna remove the cover here I'm gonna remove the I'm gonna remove these two caps first, then I'm gonna remove this cover and remove the coil packs and inspect them. Okay, let's go ahead and remove these cables. So you literally just lift the tab up and then pull the cable out. Grab it firmly and pull the coil out. This is a Bosch coil, but it looks slightly different from the usual coils that I'm used to seeing. Normally they have a gray body. So we're gonna unplug the other ones and see what they look like. It says Boss Germany, but I don't really see a clear part number apart from the body here. So I'm going to swap this one with number two. So number two will go to one and one will go to two. You can see the difference between these two coils. They're both Bosch and this one is probably the original genuine coil which has a BMW part number. This looks like a BMW part number. And yes, you've got a part number here as well. So that's the Bosch BMW part number. Everything else is more or less identical apart from the different uh, body here. So let's swap these. I'm going to install this one here in number one. Okay, push it in. And that's that. So these are not attached with bolts. They just push in place and stay on top of the spark plugs unlike the previous older generation which have uh, two nuts on each coil so these are much much easier to take off and install back in
I hope you can hear me well, you can hear the, the car idling. You can see the smooth running value on cylinder 2, it's 10 compared to the other ones. So huge difference. Uh, let's do a quick test. So I swapped coil from 1 to 2. So the faulty one is now on cylinder 2. If you unplug the cable, literally nothing changes. So I believe we have a faulty coil. I hope we can hear the engine misfiring, so it's misfiring on cylinder 2 and the proof for this is the live data hopefully you can see this, so we've got a value of nearly 10 on cylinder 2 and the other ones are more or less uh, 3 4 times less than that so clearly by moving the coil from cylinder 1 to cylinder 2 we identified we have a faulty coil Okay, these are the old codes which I didn't delete. These are the new ones, so you can see the issue went to cylinder two. So that again confirms that the issue here is the coil pack on cylinder two. After deleting all the faults, we have a smooth running engine back again until the next time the coil misfires and the injector switches off the fuel to cylinder number two. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video and you saw how easy it is to diagnose a faulty coil pack. Um, this is the bad one there, the black one, and the good one is the one in silver. So I'm assuming these are the original genuine coil packs. I've got five of these and one of these, so this one was replaced at some point. Uh, I'm gonna replace all six coil packs just as a preventative measure. And then I'm gonna keep these original OEM parts as a spare so I always have a few in the boot of the car just in case as you never know you can see the newer parts fail quicker than the original genuine ones um, so yeah hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon